What's up, everybody? It is Black Goku 5454, and I'm a little irritated right now because the game just skipped a little bit. But I'm irritated right now because the Dragon Ball Fighters, the Dragon Ball Fighter game, the Dragon Ball Fighter beta is out, and for some reason. I downloaded it, let me download it, but it won't let me play it. So hopefully it'll let me play it later so I can do a video. My brother, Dark Slayer, 65, whatever his name is, he uh he was able to do a video on it and I watched him play it. If you watch this video, you probably might hear me talking to him in the uh, video. I was trying not to be rude. But uh So yeah, he did a video on it. He was able to download it, so I was able to download it, but it wouldn't let me play it for some reason, so I decided to just hop on Xenoverse because I'm in a Dragon Ball mood. But today, we are going to be talking about something that's been going on in Dragon Ball Super. So, hold on. Just turn the game music down. So, we've been going on in Dragon Ball Super, basically. We're going to be talking about... Vegeta. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff going on in Dragon Ball Super, but we're going to be specifically talking about Vegeta. So, if you've been watching the episodes, which you should, if you're a um, Dragon Ball fan, if you've been watching the show and all that stuff, you will know that uh, Vegeta, out of nowhere, is getting some kind of power. It's not, it's not like no Zenkai boost or anything like that. It could be a Zenkai boost, but Vegeta, out of nowhere, is getting real strong and... He had, uh, last week actually, he was doing real good against Jiren. And people thought he had some type of, um, he was going to unlock Ultra Instinct and all that stuff. But I knew he wasn't. He ain't going to get Ultra Instinct that, that He's not going to get Ultra Instinct that, that quick. But he was doing very, very, very well against Jiren. And he had said something to piss Jiren off. He said you did better when you were fighting Kakarot. So that probably made Jiren mad. So then Jiren got to beating the crap out of him. So, um... The move that Jiren used to finish Vegeta off <laughs> looked like going. basically it left Vegeta not moving, like almost basically dead. But Vegeta, he's still alive, and in the trailer for the episode that come on tonight, it shows him fighting along Goku while Goku is in his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Vegeta is is in his Super Saiyan Blue, but the thing about Vegeta is that. His Super Saiyan Blue doesn't look normal. Like, the aura around his Super Saiyan Blue doesn't look normal. His, uh... His eyes doesn't look normal. Like, as you can see, his eyes right there in the game. As the... As the, uh... Hold on, wait. Did y'all just hear Goku say you sound a little bit angry, Frieza? He's not even fighting Frieza. Frieza's not even here. He's fighting Vegeta. What the heck? I just... I'm all distracted from this match. But, um, so as you see Vegeta's eyes when I started up the game, in the, uh, in the episode for tonight, his eyes actually don't even look like that. Like, his pupils look different. His, his blue hair is darker. His aura, it got more, let me see, how can I, more sparks around it. It's like, it's different from a regular Super Saiyan Blue aura. So, some people say it's Super Saiyan Blue 2, but I don't think it's Super Saiyan Blue 2. I think... The numbers are done, like Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, all of that is done. So, uh, they just be using different names now. But, um, hold on, wait. So, yeah, his, he just looked real different. So, what I think is going on with Vegeta, I think he has a, uh, he's unlocked some type of other state of Super Saiyan Blue. Like, it could be Super Saiyan Blue at full power. Something that wasn't seen in the show yet, but seen in the manga. And if you remember, if you go way back to the old episodes of Dragon Ball Z in the Cell Saga, Goku and Gohan was using Super Saiyan at full power when they were going up against Cell before Gohan transformed into transformed into a Super Saiyan 2. So I'm just wondering, is Vegeta using a fully powered Super Saiyan Blue, which would explain why his hair is a more darker color blue? Goku whooping my butt. A more darker color blue. His pupils look a little different. And his aura is different. And in the trailer, he's dodging Jiren punches. So it's probably not. It's probably it's probably something close to Ultra Instinct. It's basically Vegeta's version of Ultra Instinct. People calling it a new form or whatever. I don't think it's a new form. I just think it's it could be, like I said, a fully powered Super Saiyan Blue. 
that Vegeta unlocked before Goku. And it could be strong enough to allow him to dodge some of Jiren's punches. Could be strong enough to allow him to, uh, to be on par with Goku's Kaioken times 20 or whatever. Or might even be stronger than Goku Kaioken times 20 because, uh, then what was I about to say? Oh, because Vegeta doesn't have any Kaioken times 20. Or no Kaioken times... He doesn't have Kaioken, period. All Vegeta has is regular Super Saiyan Blue. While Goku has... Excuse me. Goku has uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. And then he got the Ultra Instinct and all, Ultra Instinct and all that stuff. So it would be basically... Basically time for Vegeta to get... You know, a new form. A new upgrade or whatever. And, well... Like I said, I don't think it's a new form. It, it's just... I don't know. I'm just looking at it as a fully powered Super Saiyan Blue. Because if you go look at the, the pictures and the images that they be releasing for tonight's episode. And how Goku's saying in the, in the episode trailer that Vegeta's basically unlocked some power or whatever. He's basically unlocking a power. I believe that... Um... That power is fully powered Super Saiyan Blue. And it's probably a little bit over Kaioken times 20. Which is why he has the strength to go up against Jaren. Now, I don't think it's strong enough like Ultra Instinct or whatever where he can actually fight on par with Jaren for a long, long, long time. I just think it's going to allow him to be able to hold his own against Jaren. So, it's pretty sweet. It's about time Vegeta gets something new. And a lot of Vegeta fans, like my favorite character of all time in Dragon Ball is Vegeta. My favorite, uh, my second is obviously Goku. If I, ha I'm gonna make a top five list one day. I know my top five, but I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all my top five one day. But um, my favorite character of all time is Dra uh, in Dragon Ball period is Vegeta, and it's about time that he gets something new because Goku had then had Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken. Why am I getting beat up by the computer, bro? Goku has Super Saiyan Blue, he got Kaioken times 10, Kaioken times 20, and now he has Ultra Instinct, and Vegeta just have regular Super Saiyan Blue. So it's about time, you know, Vegeta gets something new. And I'm cool with him getting a fully powered Super Saiyan Blue, because Goku haven't even unlocked that yet. And normally fully powered forms be very, very strong. Like, if you remember, uh, if you go back to GT, and you watch when... Golden Trunks, Gohan, I believe that was, Golden Trunks, Gohan all gave their power to Goku when he was in Super Saiyan 4 fighting Baby and when he was fighting Omega Shenron. At the time Omega was Sin Shenron and, who oh, I caught him with that, and, went, and once Goku went Super Saiyan 4, he would, once he absorbed their power he became a fully powered Super Saiyan 4 like he was glowing red. So normally, when they use when they go super power forms, like when they go like a super power, like when they, let me see how can I can explain it. Normally, when they get super power forms, they're they're more stronger than usual. Like when Goku got his Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Four full power form, he was able to fight. Uh, on he was basically able to dog baby, grade eight baby. And then when he became a fully powered Super Saiyan 4 against Sin Shenron, he was able to match up against Sin Shenron pretty well because before I don't understand why I'm getting dogged by the computer. But before Sin Shenron was able to dog him and all that stuff until Gohan, Trunks, Goten and all of them came to his aid and they gave him his power. They gave Goku their power and he became a fully powered Super Saiyan 4 and he was able to uh dang near kill Sen Shenron. So normally super powered forms always help out so it could be that Jiren awakened something in Vegeta and it allowed him to go fully powered Super Saiyan Blue and it should help a lot. It should help Goku because Jiren even though Goku was Kaioken times 20 and Vegeta I'm not saying it's Super Saiyan Blue at full power, but that's what it should be. So, even though, I'm going to just call it that now, a uh, fully powered Super Saiyan Blue. So, even though Goku is coming at Jiren with Kaioken times 20 and Vegeta is coming at, him with, coming at him with a fully powered Super Saiyan Blue, both of them at the same time, I still don't think that would be strong enough to go up against Jiren because the only thing that's going to basically stand in Jiren way or stop him just a little bit is Ultra Instinct. 
and if not one Ultra Instinct, then two Ultra Instincts, because we still don't know if Vegeta is going to get Ultra Instinct or not. I kind of don't think it's going to happen, to be honest with you, but you'd be surprised. So, uh... I don't know. Like I said, you'd be surprised. I don't know. You, you never know with Toriyama. You never know where they're gonna go in the series. What kind of turns and twists is gonna, what kind of turns and twists is gonna take. So it could be possible that he might get Ultra Instinct later on. But then again, I'm not really sure. So uh, I don't think both of them at the same time will be strong enough to go against Jaren. We're about to see what happens. In the episode tonight, like how do we continue off with, uh, off of what happened next week, stuff like that, and like I said, I don't. Jiren is just all he's just incredibly strong. He's it's gonna take way more than that to get rid of Jiren. And to be honest, if y'all want my real th thoughts on how this tournament is gonna end, I don't see Universe Seven winning. You wanna know why? Because for a while. They've been hyping in the manga and the show, just a little bit in the show, but mostly in the manga. They've been hyping up Jiren's wish. Jiren's main reason for joining this tournament was to get that one wish. He didn't care about nothing else. It, it, if it wasn't a wish involved, Jiren wasn't even going to do the tournament, according to the manga. So, um... So, I think that Universe 11 is going to win, because... If not win, the time is going to run out of the sun. I don't know. I just think Universe 11 is going to win, bro. Because everybody want to know what Jaren's wish is. It wouldn't make sense for them to hype it up like this just for Jaren to lose. And we don't even figure out what his wish is. He probably going to wish some universes back, including including Universe 7. Because the uh, Super Dragon Balls has limitless power. So, in my opinion... I don't think Universe 7 is going to win. That's just my opinion. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. So, yeah. But, that's basically what I want to talk about. I can't wait until the episode come on tonight. I might start doing videos when I review episodes and all that stuff. Because, Vegeta, he got some kind of new power. And I'm liking it. I'm, I like the fully powered Super Saiyan Blue idea. we never seen Vegeta have a fully powered... Well, I'm pretty sure he had mastered Super Saiyan already, Super Saiyan 2 and all that stuff. But they never really went into depth and detail about it. Like, in GT, they went in depth and detail about a super, a fully powered Super Saiyan 4. We all know Gohan and Goku was fully powered Super Saiyans in the Cell Saga. So this is about to be the first time we see Vegeta with a fully powered Super Saiyan form. And it's going to be cool that it's Super Saiyan Blue because not even Goku has fully mastered that form. So, but if I'm wrong about it being a fully powered Super Saiyan Blue form, then I don't know what the hell it's going to be. I guess we just got to wait until tonight to watch the episode and find out what it's going to be. But hopefully the, uh, the beta, the beta get back working because I really, really, really want to do a video be on, uh, on the new Dragon Ball Fighters. Because it don't even make sense that I can't. Like, why would you let me download it if I can't do a video? But anyways, so if it do start working, of course I'm going to do a video. So, I guess we got to just wait to find out. But this video is basically wrapped up in a way. It's not really much I had to talk about. just want to explain why I haven't did my review on the Dragon Ball Fighters video. I mean, beta. And I wanted to explain what's been going on with Vegeta lately. So, I guess we can get one, match out the, one more match out the way. Uh, let me see. Uh, we can do. I want a good match. So let's go ahead and do. I guess this video is basically about Vegeta. So Vegeta Super Saiyan Four against Black Black Goku Super Saiyan Rose. And we're gonna go to the glaciers. We all know who will win this in real life, of course. <laughs> this wouldn't even be no fight for Black Goku. I'm an Earthling with the pride of a Saiyan. Well, you mean you're a Saiyan with the pride of an Earthling? Oh, I had the block in top. That's what you call a perfect block. Also, my bad for not doing a video in a week. 
kind of busy. <laughs> I'm always busy, y'all. But, um, I will be making up for that time by uploading a lot throughout the week. Oh, he almost caught me with that kick. Oh, I almost had him. I would do a final. Oh, Vegeta. <laughs> no. So, yeah, for now, y'all just gonna have to watch my brother's video on the Dragon Ball Fighters uh, beta. Because <laughs> it won't let me make one. And it's doing that on purpose. And after the beta, I'm gonna decide if I wanna get. Well, nah, I'm gonna get the game. Because, to be honest, I don't really like... No, I'm going to do a separate video on that, explaining how I feel about the game. And Black only catching me off guard because I'm preoccupied with talking. But this isn't over. Oh, how did I miss? <sighs> Let's go. Final shine attack. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. I see black. Oh, man. Black on. He about to get me off. Hey, this showing y'all something. Super Saiyan 4 is not strong enough. For black Goku, or is it? Oh, 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 oh! I oh. oh, see now we gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta redo that. <laughs> so, black defeated Goku. I mean Vegeta in Super Saiyan Four. So now Vegeta gotta go Super Saiyan Blue. Now we about to really finish this. I'm actually glad it went this way because Vegeta could not beat Black and Super Saiyan 4 at all. Now let's go. Ooh, I hope that beta works so I can make my video. Learn it. No, you're actually more than appetite. Well, prove it to me. Ah, Gallic Gun. He done for. He barely freaking made a mark. He done for. I'm about to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know why I thought I was gonna actually connect with that. Like he wasn't gonna break my guard. I can't see. What the hell? I love doing this move if you connect. Oh yeah! And finish it off with this! You can't win! Alright, he is out of there. Anyway, so that was today's video. I talked a little bit on the beta and and I, the really, really, the topic of today's video was Vegeta and what's been going on with him in Dragon Ball Super. So if you like the if you like the video, please leave a like and comment in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Peace out, y'all.